against a 166 pounder. Six pound weight differential. But at the end of the day, it's legal. I said he's 170. 172. We have Jake Sathbury. Jake Sathbury, 166. 166. I know this is um, Jake's first boxing fight, but I know he's done some amateur grappling. And, uh, he's, uh, oh, you know him from the grappling? Yeah, yeah, no, he's, uh, okay. he's here, a local guy from Impact Boxing, but he's oh, also nice. a grappler. He's competed yeah, yeah, in some yeah. of the grappling tournaments. So he knows, he knows what this moment is about. He, he's used to it. So I hope nice. to see good things from him. Right. Referee checking out gloves now. Everything seems to be fine. We're ready to go. Let's see they both come out in their first fight. Looks like Jake's the aggressor. And his hands go. Brian's working the outside of the ring while Jake is standing in the middle, kind of following him around. Uh -huh. He's on the road. He's on the road. Couple shots to the body there. See now when fighters are on the inside, they have to make yeah, they have to make it worthwhile. Throw some uppercuts to the body, work work the body, then bring the uppercuts up top. You know, snap their neck back. Let the judges know, you know, that they're that they're the fighter. You know what I mean? Make that point, you know, worthwhile. You know, just like Jake's doing right now. You know, he snapped the neck back twice. You know, you know, he's definitely working the body when the opening's there. He's taking it. Now these guys are moving and throwing punches. Do you think that's because of uh, being their first fight? The first I think, round? yeah, I think they're nervous. Watch the second round. They'll, yeah. they'll both throw 10 punches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. They're letting them go here. Yeah. Oh, you see. Ryan just hurt Jake with that, yeah, one, that one punch. Had to stun him back. Him down, yeah. Yeah. How old do you think these, these, these guys are? What do you say on the paper? They're probably, I think, uh, 17, 18. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Jake, Jake is um, 18, okay. and uh, so is Brian. They're both 18. Oh, okay, good. Now, i got to ask you guys both the question. I mean, Edgar, you come from the martial arts, you know, um, end of things, and Thomas from boxing. But, you know, when, a, when a, I guess uh, when the one fighter came out, and he was more active, but is more active, more productive as far as points go. And, and I notice in the grappling matches we do, sometimes you can look more productive, but you're not, you're not gaining points through that. Absolutely, yeah. Now, that, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. And, and Thomas, on your end, I mean, already he's coming out, he's being active. Are those, are those punches effective, you know, in, in scoring? I mean, you can't, you can't score a punch unless you throw a punch. You know what I mean? But, you know, you know but if, you're, if you miss or whatever, at least you're trying. So, I mean, obviously... If both fighters, let's say, land 10 punches each, but Jake from Impact Boxing is looking like he's going off of a rampage, you know what I mean? Nine out of 10, it's like he just ran through the ring. The judges are going to give him that round. And in the martial arts aspect as well, you know, yeah. if you look like you're, you're attempting things, if you look like you're trying things. You're trying, yep. If you're trying, if you're trying to score, if you're trying, you know, you're getting scored on that. Right, yeah. See, I like that from Jake. See, he's coming forward. He knows, just like in the last fight, like with, um, from Ar with Arthur Jameer, like the, the 95 pounders, if he would, you know, uh, Jake, Jake obviously, you know, he has to come forward, he has to press the action. He's in his home, he's in his home gym and everything. He don't want no type of 
pull crap. You know what I mean? He wants to make a statement in his first fight. And, um, you know, yeah. And he's doing a great job. He's coming forward. He's landing the punches. Like I said, you know, if he gets on the inside, I want to see more body work. You know, why head hunt when the guy's, you know, up to your stomach? You know? I mean, Brian, Brian smells blood. He's throwing some haymakers there to get to catch Jake in that right. But you know, at the end of the day, like I said, Brian's landing punches. Every, every time Jake's coming in, Brian's landing punches and snapping his neck, neck back. Like I said, he's letting the judges know. You know he's, in, he's in for a, you know, a real fight. And now in amateur boxing, even though, yeah, it's about you know, scoring points and all that, they do the 10-8 system, you know? Oh, that was a, yeah, that was a low blow. Oh. Jake went down. Uh, Why is he giving him a standing eight count? Yeah, because maybe the ref didn't see it was a low blow. You know, maybe the ref didn't see it was a low blow, but it was clearly a low blow. Oh, see, that was, he tried tapping gloves and, and Brian just snuck him. <laughs> I'll never forget, I'll be honest. In my pro debut, I did that. In my pro debut, right from the bell ring, because but I had a reason. You know, when they announce your name, like they do an amateur boxing, you tap gloves, you go back to your corner, then the bell rings. I, my whole thing is, if I just tapped your glove t 10 seconds ago, you know what I mean? Why am I going to tap your glove again? You know what I mean? I want to fight. I want to, you know, my debut. I got just as much jitters as you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he tried tapping gloves and I snuck him. Jake, and, uh, and, uh, Jake's uh, got a little blood ooh. coming down. Nice. And, uh, Ryan's definitely been catching him. This is a great even match. I, didn't know, I don't know how to score that round, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to score that round, honestly. I, I'd probably give it to uh, Brian there, man. He was just yeah. popping his head. He's uh, got the nose leaking a little bit. Good even match. You got, you got the doctor's making his way over the corner. Take a look at that nose. Yeah. He's dripping. You can see it by his feet. Now that's going to affect the fighter. Oh, absolutely, because he because he can't breathe. He can't good. breathe through his nose. He can't breathe as good. So now you know. You know, but at least at the end of the day, it, did, it didn't happen in the first round. It happened in, you know, in the second round. It's the last round coming up right here. You know, so he has a minute and a half to you know make worthwhile. You know, got to go to work now. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you move your head, you won't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Huh. You know, but I think Brian definitely has to come out in his A game because again, this is this is um, the ten eight amateurs is about the ten eight. Oh, no, I'm sorry, the ten nine. You know, scoring. You know, so. You know, if you're in that fighter's hometown, you gotta go crazy. You know, you gotta go crazy. Broken nose. Everything's a broken. He's all right. Oh, he's all right. Okay. Everything's okay. He's definitely breathing heavy. He's got his mouth open. He's got a, yeah. he's there he goes again. Out he's running out. Yep, Jake. Jake see, he don't pace. care. He's a warrior. That's good. But see, again, Brian's catching him though. Yeah. But that Brian, Brian, see, I like that. Goes from the body and then goes up top. And that's what Brian has to do if he wants to win, especially fighting in the guy's home gym. Yeah, but but, but uh, you see how Jake has him on the ropes yeah, Jake wants in the to corner? Keep there. He wants to keep him there, but he wants to work that body. Don't head hunt when the guy's you know, moving his head and everything. The body never moves. Head moves, body never moves. Yeah, that's a little right hand there by Jake. Brian, Brian's working on jabs great. Every time Jake comes in, he, Brian throws a jab and snaps Jake's neck back. Jake's hands are a little low. And he's letting that jab come right up. See, see how they both should be going tired. to the body now. Tired. They're both dead tired. Work that body. Uh, that nose is messed up. Yeah. Uh, good, good. Uh, that was nasty. They had a pack. No, it's over here. It's over this. Yeah, he, kicked, he kicked it off. Yeah, he splattered. Oh, oh, there it is right there. Oh, what is that? That's his They uh, packed it in his nose. Oh, why would they do that? Uh, uh, he's waiting for the that's, a, that's illegal. They shouldn't do that. Uh, it's bad enough he can't breathe because of, because of the nose situation. Don't start like there's a little damage to Brian's nose. 
No, but at the end of the day, Jake's still coming forward. Jake's definitely got that warrior mentality. He's not stopping until they stop him. <laughs> that was great. Both guys in the first one. Great. Brian came in wearing a red shirt. Jake came in wearing a red, but they're both leaving with red shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake's definitely leaving with a red shirt tonight. You better go I think, hang. Uh, I think Brian uh, edged him out on this one. You think? You know, I don't know. I look at no. I I I think Brian. I think Brian edged this one out. He came yeah, into Brian. The, the red corner. Yeah. Yeah, red corner. I, I think, think he I think edged Brian. it out. You know, but that Jake definitely showed a, a lot of heart, especially with his nose. Uh, you know, busting taking, like that. Taking a couple of shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? It's 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 one shot, and and no one. I think a lot of times, you know what? And it, it might even be the mindset of the fighter and Thomas you can answer this I mean you know you you draw blood you know in their mind I'm wounded and, and when you're looking at it you know you see that they, you know what I mean the audience is just you know looking at the blood yeah but at the end of the day it comes down to much of toughness yeah out of the blue oh okay Jake edge it out Ooh. 